Like I said, you've been doing this for over 60 years. It is hard as hell. I saw an interview with um the great Robert De Niro once, and, and he was talking about being an actor. Mm-hmm. And, and he was saying how difficult it is to just keep a job. He was like, I don't care how great you think you are. Every actor is always looking for the next job. Yeah. That, that's, that's really what your job is. Yeah. Auditioning and looking for the next job. That's true. What, I, I, you've been doing it for over 60 years. What is the keys to staying employed in Hollywood? Because clearly you figured it out. I wish I knew. (laughs) Come on. Look, I know way back there when I started with this positive thinking thing, um, one thing that kept me with a certain kind of positive attitude was that. Okay? Um, Not the fault that you'd have downtime, but I always believed in myself. And, uh, you know, and for me... That's the only thing I can say to somebody, you know, is believe in yourself. Never ever think you're going to lose. Always believe you're going to win. I don't care how down you are, always believe you're going to achieve it. Always. And I've had times when, not just weeks, when a couple of years have gone by, when I've not, I've worked with like sparsely. Then I've had times when I've worked for the last time up until... Actually, up until the end of Two Broke Girls, I worked straight for like at least 20, 20 years. Okay. Amazing. I mean, Amazing. Yeah. But that's unusual, right? Um, uh, like I told you, there was a time when not only was I not working, but I knew somebody was acting aggressively to see to, that it didn't happen. And I... Didn't stop believing myself, but I did feel pissed off that I was choosing to do horror movies during during the eighties. <laughs> Matter of <laughs> fact, one of those movies is called "Oh Shit, Help Me." Oh, uh, the, you, you the wasn't stuff. in Friday the Thirteenth for no the stuff, the stuff, the stuff, the stuff. Got you, yeah. Uh, and it's a cult movie now, mm-hmm. uh, but um, uh, you know, only about twenty twenty five percent of actors are working at any given time, Sean, which is why I'm pissed off about how SAG is being treated right now and how the producers of about that streamer thing, you know, uh, just held out so long. Uh, because producers, not all of them, come from business schools where they're not interested in the art. They're interested in money and shareholders. So they would even damage the artists SAG right now has producer type though are damaging the very people from whom they're going to make money later on when this contract is done. They should be treating them as if, hey, you're part of how we're going to make money. They're not. They're treating them like our shareholders. Shareholders are number one, we're number two, and you actor, you're not even tertiary, even four or fifth, you're number 10. That's really what's going with SAG right now. So in this business, yes, you have to believe in yourself very strongly and be willing to deal with even what seems like the lowest times with an attitude of, I'm still going to win. I don't know how you do that. With, I know in my situation, I find it hard to get to it, but I got to it, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's not that I wasn't crying sometimes, particularly when I had a wife on two occasions that had to deal with come money in to pay bills. But uh, for me, I know it would be hard for people to hear this who, you know, right now are not working as an actor and have to work uh, two and three temp jobs all the time, you know. But I had to do that myself when I first got to New York. Correct. So uh, the only thing I can say is simply, simply never stop believing in yourself. I know it's hard to do, but try to make it something that is systematic that you always get up and believe in yourself. If you, I'm a Buddhist, we do it through chanting. If you're a Christian, do it through praying to Jesus every morning. If you're, you know, a Muslim, do it through hooking up Allah all the time. If you do, check out Yahweh. And of course, with the 
the the Hindus have ten or twelve people, <laughs> Krishna, <laughs> Krishna, Vishnu, Brahma. But if you have any spiritual life, grab on it every morning and every evening, and make that how you keep your inner life up and positive. You know, for me, that's I don't know how De Niro does it. You know, did it, uh, and it's easier when you have a little money in the bank. I'm blessed that I do have a little money in the bank. Okay, but still. That the way in which you've been working on a certain thing, even if you have money in the bank, you're not working, that affects your mentality. It affects, you know, you, it, it, you know what I mean? It does affect you. Like if suddenly you couldn't do what you're doing now for whatever reason, I don't care what how money you money you've made, there's a thing in you that wants to do what you're doing. And that Absolutely. needs it. Not just wants to, that needs to do it. You know, it's a it's a part of your religion now, it's a part of your spiritual life now. And that's what it is for people who really are dedicated to acting, who've gone to acting drama. Because a lot of people go to drama school, okay? Those just people, a lot of people go, that's dedication. If you go to drama school, four years, you know? That's drama fucking school, that's dedication, you know? So if you're dedicated like that, you deal with people who have gone to business school, whose religion is shareholders and making money, and not their art. You've got, Basically, someone who's saying to you, I want to make money from you, but I'm going to treat you like shit. That's all. I'm, I'm, I'm through. <laughs> and, and, and with that, I'm through. Because I, 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 I can't even top it. <laughs> we we, we going to end it there. Keep believing in yourself no matter what comes your way. Right. The, 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 the art to longevity it starts with you. It starts with that belief. And I guess we'll end it there. Brother Garrett, this has been my pleasure. Sean, I've enjoyed well. sitting and talking to you, and I can't wait to do it again. Sean, it's been mine as well. And like I said, if you're going to show this in Louisiana, I got to go in hiding. <laughs> well, go and hide because it's gonna definitely show in Louisiana. Okay, but 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 I I, I truly believe you ain't gonna have to hide nowhere, brother Garrett, because you have been a blessing to this world. Wow! Keep wow. doing your thing. We love you, brother. I love you too, John. Thank you, man. Peace, man. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And with that, I'm giving <laughs> you a lot of room, Sean. <laughs> <laughs>